The story of Elon Musk. His involvement with innovative companies of tomorrow and brilliant concepts like Tesla, SpaceX, and Hyperloop have made Elon Musk a beloved and well-known billionaire today. In this video, we'll look through the fascinating history that brought him to this point and the exciting plans he has for the future. But first, we'd like to thank The General for his heartwarming comment on our 15 world's largest aircraft video. We appreciate the love, General. Blastar. Musk was a prodigy at a young age. In fact, he began making money off of his brilliance when he was only 12 years old. He came up with a video game called Blastar and sold its code to PC and Office Technology for $500. A web version of the game is available online to this day. He was bullied. Throughout the brilliant entrepreneur's childhood, Musk was bullied in some very brutal ways. A particularly grisly incident landed Musk in the hospital after some bullies threw him down a flight of stairs and beat him until he lost consciousness. Apparently, the injuries caused by the incident still give Musk breathing problems to this day. Chocolate. After selling his video game code for $500, he wanted to use the money to start an arcade. Unfortunately, he was too young to acquire the permits required to build such a business, so he started from scratch, literally. He began a homemade chocolate selling business and sold the sweets to his classmates and acquaintances. Disinterested host. While attending college at the University of Pennsylvania, Musk and his roommate, entrepreneur Adea Ressi, rented a huge house and threw epic parties that attracted up to a thousand people. The pair charged students for admission and used the money to pay their rent. It may be hard to picture Elon Musk partying with a bunch of drunk college students, and that's because he usually wasn't. According to Ressi, Musk could often be found in his room playing video games during the raucous events. Dropout Musk earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics and Physics during his time at the University of Pennsylvania. He started to earn a PhD in Applied Physics and Material Science at Stanford when he was 24, but dropped out after only two days to explore his aspirations in an expanding field, the internet. Thanks, Dad. The brothers Musk started their web software company Zip2 in 1995, but couldn't have done so without financial help from their father, Errol, who gave the pair $28,000 to begin their venture. It was a wise investment, as the company would eventually be sold to Compaq for $307 million in cash and $34 million in stock options. Elon netted $22 million from the sale, money which he immediately used to co-found X.com. PayPal. In March of 1999, Musk co-founded an online financial service and email payment company called X.com with the money he made from the sale of Zip2. One year later, X.com merged with Confinity and their money transfer service called PayPal. eBay would acquire PayPal in October of 2002 for $1.5 billion. The sale would pocket Musk $165 million. A brilliant tree. Elon isn't the only amazing person in his family. His sister, Tosca, is a director whose made-for-TV movie A Holiday Engagement garnered attention after it set records for the most-watched TV movie on Hallmark. Her web series, Tiki Bar TV, has also received recognition in Wired Magazine and other media outlets. His brother, Kim Ball, sits on the boards of Tesla Motors, SpaceX, and Chipotle Mexican Grill. He also co-founded The Kitchen Community, a group of restaurants located in various major U.S. cities. Musk's cousins, Peter and Lyndon Rive, co-founded SolarCity along with Elon. Solar City has become the largest supplier of residential solar in the United States. Tony Stark When director Jon Favreau and actor Robert Downey Jr. were trying to iron out a believable version of the comic book character Tony Stark for their upcoming Iron Man movie, they had no idea where to start. So Downey suggested they talk to Elon Musk. After interviewing with him, they were inspired, and Downey's portrayal of Stark is basically a more flamboyant version of Musk. Musk himself would go on to make a cameo appearance in Iron Man 2, and the SpaceX headquarters in Los Angeles were used in factory scenes in the movie. Bills Despite the man's great wealth, Musk has had his fair share of financial trouble throughout the years. He has put up a significant portion of his fortune in SpaceX and Tesla, two endeavors that economists consider high risk. Tesla was a failed business in 2007, and Musk had to commit his fortune to save the company. With only a couple million of his earnings in the bank, Musk and his wife divorced in 2008, and, thanks to California state law, Musk had to foot the bill for her legal costs, which amounted to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Musk ended up borrowing money from his wealthy friends and eventually sold his McLaren F1 sports car, 
which at the time was the fastest production car in the world for $1.5 million to get through the divorce proceedings. Of course, no one's crying for him, and the brilliant man made it through just fine. Today, he's one of the richest and most powerful people in the world, with an estimated net worth of $11.5 billion. Tesla. Now, Musk didn't actually start the company. Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening incorporated Tesla in July 2003. He was, however, instrumental in its growth. He led the Series A round of investments in the company in February of 2004, and joined its board of directors as chairman. One of Musk's primary goals with Tesla is to build a Tesla model that would cost under $30,000. Here he is in the Tesla Motors factory in 2010, watching yellow robot arms in an assembly demo while looking every bit the part of a mad genius. His annual salary from Tesla was $1 in 2014, with the remainder of his compensation coming in the form of stock options and performance-based bonuses. History Made SpaceX became the first privately owned company to return a commercial spacecraft from low Earth orbit when the Dragon splashed into the Pacific Ocean 500 miles off the coast of Southern California on December 8, 2010. The craft was only in orbit for around three hours and orbited the Earth going around 17,000 miles per hour. Only six nations have ever completed such a feat. The United States, Russia, China, Japan, India, and the European Space Agency. Mars. The overall goal of SpaceX is to get to Mars, according to the entrepreneur. He hopes to send one of the company's Dragon 2 capsules to the Red Planet in 2018 when Mars is closest to Earth. His ambitions concerning Mars don't stop there. Eventually, Musk wants to turn humankind into a multi-planetary species by creating human settlements on Mars. Family Man Musk married his first wife, Justine Wilson, in 2000. The couple had six children before separating in 2008. Unfortunately, their first child, Nevada Alexander Musk, died of sudden infant death syndrome at the age of 10 weeks. They would go on to have five more sons through in vitro fertilization twins Griffin and Xavier, and triplets Damien, Saxon, and Kai. The couple shares custody of the children today. A Grand Slam The SpaceX Dragon capsule splashed down in the Pacific Ocean about 560 miles off the coast of Baja, California on May 31, 2012, completing the first successful commercial mission to the International Space Station. The craft had delivered more than 1,000 pounds of food, clothing, computer equipment, and supplies to the station and returned with around 1,300 pounds of research and experiment samples, as well as trash, from ISS. The historic mission took nine days and the craft came back just two minutes earlier than scheduled. An overjoyed Musk called the mission a grand slam. Explosion while being fueled for a test fire, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket mysteriously exploded in September of 2016. Musk and SpaceX were stumped as to what caused the explosion, with the billionaire calling the situation the toughest puzzle that the company had ever had to solve. They finally found the problem later that year. Super cold oxygen on board the rocket reacted with carbon fiber composites within the fuel tank, causing the explosion. Political Advisor Back in December, President Donald Trump announced that Musk would be on his business advisory team as part of the new administration. This collaboration may be something of a surprise to people as the two have seemed to have had different opinions about climate change issues in the recent past. Musk describes himself as somewhere in the middle politically in that he's socially liberal and fiscally conservative. He has made significant donations to both Democrats and Republicans throughout the years. Thanks for joining us everyone! If you liked the video, be sure to let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Have a fabulous rest of your day. But first, here's a bit about one of Musk's most exciting endeavors, Hyperloop. Of all of his new age endeavors, this may be the most impressive. Musk wants to build a high-speed transportation system of reduced pressure tubes. Travelers would move through the tubes in pressurized capsules. Musk assigned dozens of engineers from both Tesla and SpaceX to work on the conceptual foundation of the endeavor. The team worked for nine months and came up with a Hyperloop system that would run from Los Angeles to San Francisco and would cost around $6 billion to build. 